Removing the front bumper cover on a 2014 Audi Q7. First thing you want to do is pull these little clips off right here. So all you do is get under this, this one section of it like this, pull that out, and then you can get underneath it or you can just grab the plastic under, underneath it and pull up on that that way. It uh, comes out like this. Make sure the two fingers are intact and it's still in you know, good shape. Pull that one and then this out of there. All you do is you pull up on this piece of plastic and you just get this straight out of there. This just kind of comes, kind of comes straight up out of there towards the back a little bit. You can, um, you can pull this back section first if you want to get it out of this channel. And then um, release it in the front. <clears throat> there it is. Let's make sure you didn't screw up any of these clips. They do go straight down, but they kind of angle slightly towards the back as you can see. So it has to kind of come off this way. So you can get in there and just pull straight up on this front edge with a little plastic pry tool, or you can try to get the back end off like that. They're actually pretty durable. I haven't yet broken one of these in any way, so they, they seem to hold up pretty well. But after that, what you wanna do is get a T30 and release this screw here and pull this off, pull this one off, and pull this one off. Now you get up into the wheel well here and you wanna pull these Torx fasteners here. This one, this one, and then these two down here. There's one here and then one here. Just use the T25 bit to get those off there. Do that on both sides. Front edge of that pulled away, use that same T25 bit and take this screw off right here, this one off right here, and then uh, this one right here. Take those off and then up here, there's a little push pin you can see. Kind of this is the arch you're right at this seam there's this little little plastic push pin push the center of that through and then pull that right out of there with a little with a little trim tool or a little flat blade screwdriver if you don't have one Up underneath it and take all these screws off the front here just this one this one this one this one there should be some here too take those all off and then with those screws out you can take these sides here and uh, if you have that little plastic pin that's right here and all those fasteners I told you about off, you can take this and um, just kind of pull it straight away. See how it clips into place? That's all. So I'm going to take those bottom screws off here now and then show you what to do next. Both, both those sides pulled away like this. All the screws off the bottom. This front end should be loose. Get something underneath it. I'm just going to use this stool, which probably isn't the greatest thing, but it'll work. And then you can just kind of grab this whole front end and set it set it down like this it just pulls straight off the car Try to do this with one hand so this is kind of kind of dumb but you can see it's coming right off so I'm gonna set it on this stool and then um, show you what you need to unplug the right front um, wheel well liner here towards the front just undo these two plugs this big plug here this plug here and those are for the all the uh, lights and everything in the bumper, so I'm gonna disconnect those two. They just have a standard kind of a push-in tab. I'll show you if I can do this with one hand here. Yeah, just push in that, unplug it. Same on the other. Now everything is disconnected. All you're gonna wanna do is just pinch off this, um, this, this hose here, it just goes to the squirters for the, um, the headlights. So if you pinch that off and then you undo this clamp right here, it's got a crimp style, so your best bet is just to cut it off and replace it. If you can't get a hold of another crimp style like this, then you could just put a screw clamp there. You'd be fine. So I'm going to cut that off now, right there at that T-fitting right here, and just pull this one hose off. That stuff is unplugged. This is kind of pinched off. I can just take the front end, and it is free. So set this somewhere out of the way. You can see everything I did here, just the two wires. It's nice that they did that, so you don't have to separately disconnect all the you know, all the bulbs and from the lights and the, the, the sensors and everything like that. So yeah, that's it. So as you can see, I didn't pinch that off very good and it's, it's putting strange windshield solvent that's supposed to be blue, but it's pink. I don't know what they put in there. Maybe some kind of strange bug, you know, or tar or some, a lot of times they use stuff like that, which I don't recommend on these cars. Just use the cheap blue stuff. It's some reason the sensors seem to hold up better with just the cheap blue stuff. Um, 
but yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching.